worship the King, O glorious above. How gratefully sing His power and His love. Our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise. O tell of His might, O sing of His grace, whose robe is the light, whose canopy space, His chariots of wrath, the deep thunder clouds form, and dark is His path on the wings of the storm. O measureless might, ineffable love, whom angels delight to worship above, thy mercies how tender, how firm to the end, our maker, defender, redeemer, and friend. Hello and welcome once again to our video version of Church Today. My name is Chaplain Elisa, and I'm delighted to welcome you in the name of the Lord. Thank you for joining your spirit with mine through the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. In many parts of the world, this week is celebrating Valentine's Day, which is named after one of the early Christian martyrs, St. Valentine. So naturally, our theme today is love specifically God's passionate and profound love for us. So again, thank you for being here and please join me as we begin our time in prayer. Great and loving God, we ask your Holy Spirit to bless our time together and to refresh us with your presence in the midst of a world full of trouble and strife we thank you for watching over us guiding us and as we confess our sins for forgiving us enable us to enter your presence today joyfully and reverently and let us depart with the assurance that our sins are forgiven fill us O god with the peace that passes all understanding. We love you in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Let's begin by singing the doxology, Praise God from whom all blessings flow. We will sing this through twice together. The words will come up on your screen. Let's begin. Things flow, praise him all creatures here below, praise him above ye heavenly host, praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. And now let us affirm our statement of faith by reciting Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd together. Here we go. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness 
for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Let's continue our worship by singing for the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the earth. The words will come up on your screen. Let's worship together. And let's sing joyful joyful we adore thee this great song of love joyful joyful here come the words Our first scripture reading today on our theme of God's love is from the Old Testament prophet Isaiah chapter 62. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. You will be a crown of splendor in the hand of, your, of the Lord a royal diadem in the hand of your God. No longer will they call you deserted or name your land desolate, but you will be called Hephzibah, which means the Lord's delight, 
and your land, Beulah, which means married, for the Lord will take delight in you, and your land will be married. As a young man marries a young woman, so will your builder marry you. As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will your God rejoice over you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Beautiful, passionate pass- passage. <laughs> Let's sing, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me. Let's worship together. The words will come up on the screen. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And a love song in response to Jesus Loves Me. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved us, we love God. Oh, how I love Jesus. Let's worship together. second scripture reading today is a fabulous passage from Romans chapter 8, written by the Apostle Paul, St. Paul. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, 
nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm. Love it. Let's sing. I love to tell the story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story. Here come the words up on the screen for this wonderful song. And let's sing crown him with many crowns crown him with many crowns here come the words
All right, let's pause our singing for just a few moments and talk a little bit more about God's incredible love. As always, be ready to pause the video using a remote control or touching the screen or however you like so you can have a little bit more time to respond to someone you're with or on your own or write some things down about these ideas about love. So be ready to pause when you want. So let's start out by thinking about pet names. I'm curious if your mom or your dad or someone you were close to, what did they call you when you were little, for example? So think about that for a minute. You can pause the video and think about what did your mom or dad call you or a friend or some sweet name that was a nickname. I still remember my mom, actually, I think she still sometimes calls me Lammy. <laughs> She's in her 80s and she still calls me Lammy sometimes or pumpkin or maybe you call a, a pet a baby or sweetie or you call a spouse honey or love lovely or something like that. Lots of pet names. So why do we give people or pets those kinds of special names? Why do we why do we have those names like honey or sweetie? Well, they're terms of endearment, aren't they? They they show a special closeness, a kind of intimacy. And Names have significance, right? And meaning for our identity. Names are important. But sometimes we can carry around names that maybe we should get rid of. Sometimes we carry around names like I'm, I'm lazy or I'm alone or I'm dumb. Names that are not true and should not be carried around by us as beloved children of God. But names can be strong, right? So in the passage that I read from Isaiah, God tells his people that he himself will give them a new name. He says, you won't be called desolate anymore. You won't be called deserted anymore. I'm going to give you a name and I'm going to call you a crown of splendor, a royal diadem. Diadem is another word for a crown. So if God is calling us a crown, what does that say about how God feels about us? Who's the crown? We are. You are the crown that God delights to wear. The Hebrew words that I read before in that passage, Hevzebah, that's a hard one to say, which means the Lord's delight, and Beulah, which means married to the Lord. Those are the names that God gives to his people, to us. Now, when you hear the words, the Lord's delight and married, what event would that bring to mind for you? What event in real world would the word married have to do with? A wedding, right, a wedding. These names that God is pronouncing over his people are names of love, passionate love. And in fact, the image that's used in the Isaiah passage is one of a bridegroom. If you've ever been to a wedding, how is the bridegroom feeling? Pretty excited to be with the bride, right? in love, passionate love. That is the kind of love God has for you and for me. God delights in you. So let's think a little bit more about a marriage ceremony. If you have been married yourself or you've been to a wedding, what are some of the vows that commonly are made in a wedding ceremony? Think about, I promise to you can pause here and think about some of those wedding vows. Well, there's promises to love, promises to honor, promises to cherish. In some traditions, the word obey or submit or serve um, to that mutual um, taking care of one another. 
Now, in a human marriage, how well do those vows get kept? <laughs> well, you know, probably most of them get broken, you know, before the day is out. <laughs> we're human, we're frail, and we do make mistakes. So those wedding vows, they get broken all the time, don't they? But God, unlike people, God never breaks his vows. Not even death can separate us from God's love. It's a vow. God's love is a vow that is made for all eternity, for all of us, those who are married, widowed, unhappy, single. God is the one who perfectly vows and perfectly satisfies. So this is our name, loved by God, married to God, God's delight. So if you have a piece of paper or a sticky name tag that says, you know, my name is, I want you to take that and write one of these names on it. The Lord's delight, married to the Lord, or just one God loves. Put it on that name tag and then put it right where you will see it. And at the end of the day, put it maybe on your bathroom mirror so you see it every day. I've got one here that I put on one side, one God loves, and on the other side, the Lord's delight. And I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear this and remind myself, this is my name. These are my names based on the truth of God's holy word. So when you see that name tag today or tomorrow on your bathroom mirror, take one minute to receive the love that God has for you. See how that changes your day, knowing your name. So let's pray together, shall we, that our hearts would be open to God's love and that we would live in this name, these names of God for us, that we are the Lord's delight. Let's pray silently for just a moment. Heavenly Father, uh, thank you uh, during this week when so much talk about love and Valentine's Day Thank you that the greatest love in the universe is the love that you have for us, for your people, that you delight in every one of us, that you vow, you promise to be with us, even unto and past death into all eternity. Help us, God, to remember our name as your beloved and that we would live in that name today. And now let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Let's sing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Every single person, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Let's worship together. Here come the words. He's got the
let's follow that with blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance. Here come the words. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a poor taste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story. Our third reading are just a few quotes about love. Lao Tse, the ancient Chinese philosopher said, to love someone deeply gives you strength. Being loved by someone deeply gives you courage. I love that. This is an anonymous quote. A life with love will have some thorns, but a life without love will have no roses. Very true. The civil rights activist Coretta Scott King said, love is such a powerful force. It's there for everyone to embrace that kind of unconditional love for all of humankind. That's the kind of love that impels people to go into community and try to change conditions for the better to take risks for what they believe in. Amen. And then a short little comic poem about marriage by the comic poet Ogden Nash. To keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup, whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, let's sing Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. Amazing Grace. Let's worship together. Here come the words on the screen. lost but 
Thank you for joining me today. And now please receive the closing blessing and then we will sing the doxology again one time together to close. Please receive this closing blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's sing praise God from whom all blessings flow. One time to close. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Thank you again so much for being here with me today. I hope you know deep in your soul how beloved you are of God and how much I love you from afar. Go in peace this week. Have a wonderful week and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. My Jesus, I love Thee, I know Thou art mine. For Thee all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art Thou. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now.